not the uh, best result or performance tonight. What are your kind of reflections on that? I think as a team we can learn a lot from a well-drilled Worcester side. They were very smart in how they played the game. You know, conditions seemed all right, but very greasy underfoot, and certainly that ball was very greasy. They were clinical, and they only generally played a couple of phases in their half, and then either pushed it through, or if they'd made serious ground in that time, then obviously they'd carry on playing. I think we tried to overplay almost the temptation in an A-League game is, is to chuck it about a bit. But you know, Worcester played it very smart, and we, we have to earn that right to chuck it about. We can't just fling it about in our own 22, especially in conditions like this, and make mistakes and concede points. You seem to have a lot of joy at the breakdown as well, and you know, like you say, you weren't getting a lot of go forward yourselves. I think um, their joy at the breakdown came because we weren't direct enough. As soon as we were simple and direct, not only with gain line carries, but numbers around the ball, then obviously those problems went away. It was when we got caught in sort of six and sevens, and, and then suddenly boys didn't quite know where they were. They recognised that and put numbers in to compete. The most important thing of the A-League matches like this, it gives you guys like yourself a chance to come back when you come back to fitness. How did you feel out there? Uh, certainly was a challenge, you know, hardly run in five weeks. And I'm just pleased personally to get through 60 minutes. It wasn't my best game by far, but certainly needed the, uh, the run out. Yeah, how frustrating has pre-season and yeah, the opening few weeks been? Um, I think it has been very frustrating, actually. You know, I trained hard for six, seven, eight weeks, and then suddenly the, the wee, uh, week of the first game, my back flares up and you know, settles down a bit, try to train the following week and it flares up again and I've had to sort of sit it out until it's completely settled down, but you know, it got through that OK. Yeah, it must be kind of added frustration, the fact that you know, it's such, um, been such change over the summer, new coaches that everyone's on a clean slate and you, know, you haven't been able to stand up and kind of put your hand up yet. Well, that's it, you know, it's added pressure, and, but unfortunately I need to focus on, on myself and make sure I'm fully fit and you know, hopefully I can get some more game time next week in, against Bristol and sort of then start competing for that shirt. Happy with the way it went out there, though, and <laughs> apart from your legs? Um, you know, first 30 minutes were tough, you know, match fitness, I then found, sort of found a second wind. But, you know, personally, I'm sort of sat there watching guys like uh, Mike Luxton and Charlie Norman and the way they're playing and the hunger they've got, it, it does spur you on. You know, as captain out there today, I thought those two were just outstanding and really good to see.